Hello, my name is Mr. Fontenot. Welcome to my YouTube page, Mr. Fontenot 1111. Please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, I'll be calculating the inductive AC values from the Chapter 16 math handout, problem number 5. So, I'm going to begin by looking at my Chapter 16 math handout, problem number 5. I'll get my values from here and from the circuit itself, you can see the inductive values on the circuit on the math handout. So I've got my total voltage of 120 volts and I've got my three inductor values. 50 millihenries, 100 millihenries, and 150 millihenries. In this circuit, I'm given inductance, so I'll have to find inductive reactance using formula 14. But first, I'm going to find my total induction in this circuit using formula number four so i just add the 50 100 and 150 millihenries together which gives me 300 millihenries now i have to find my xlt number 14 formula number 14 shows us that xl is equal to 2 pi fl so xlt will be equal to 2 pi flt so i'll say 2 hit shift, then hit the exponent button for pi, 2 pi times, my frequency is 15.915, make sure you do kilohertz times 10 to the third, times my L value of 300 times 10 to the negative third, 300 millihenries, equals hit engineering we're going to round that up to 30k ohms for xl1 i'm going to use the l1 value so up here it's uh, two pi is going to stay the same times the f the frequency is going to stay the same 15.915 times 10 to the third kilohertz so I'm just going to go here and change my millihenries to 50. 50 millihenries. And that is going to round up to 5k ohms. Next I'm going to find XLT. So I'm going to use, I'm sorry, XL2. So I'm going to use L2. So I'll just scroll up here, change the 50 to a 100. 100 millihenries, giving me 10k ohms, and then finally to find XL3, it's going to be 2 pi times F times L3. So I'll go up here and I change the 100 to the 150 millihenries. Get rid of the 100, put 150 in there. And that would round up to 15. Now that I have my XL values, uh, I can find my IL value here using Ohm's Law. So it'll be 120 volts divided by 30K ohms, giving me a current of 4 milliamps. We can see here that... Formula number two tells us that current stays the same in a series circuit, so I fill all my currents in. Now I can use Ohm's Law to find the VL1 value, 4 milliamps times 5K ohms, 4 times 10 to the negative third times 5 times 10 to the third, 20 volts 4 milliamps times 10k ohms. Gives me 40 volts. And 4 milliamps times 15k ohms. 
gives me 60 volts. Now that we've made all of our calculations, you see the values here. These are the values that I will be asking for on the Chapter 16 Math Handout Canvas Answer Sheet assignment on your Canvas page. So on that assignment, you would fill in these values, whatever values you're asked for from each one of the problems. I do recommend that you go through and do the complete Chapter 16 Math Handout Answer Sheet on paper first. Once you've got all your calculations done, then go and open the Chapter 16 Math Handout Canvas Answer Sheet assignment and punch the numbers in from your notebook that you've written down by hand versus just opening that assignment while you're working all the problems in case you have some kind of a computer problem of some sort and that assignment would be inadvertently closed. Thank you.